An IP datagram of size 1000 bytes arrives at a router. The router has to forward this packet on a link whose MTU maximum transmission unit is 100 bytes. Assume that the size of the IP header is 20 bytes. The number of fragments that the IP datagram will be divided into for transmission is dash. So this is also a straightforward question from IP fragmentation uh, from computer networks topic. So if you don't know about fragmentation that happens in IP, please refer to the video lectures first to learn about those. So in this question, they have given that the maximum transmission unit of the link is 100 byte, which means that over the link, so initially a packet of size 1000 bytes arrives at the router. Now the router has to forward this packet over a link to some other router, okay. But it is saying that the maximum transmission unit of the link is 100 byte, which means that the maximum size of the IP datagram that can be sent over the link is 100 bytes. So the router will have to divide this IP packet which arrives of size 1000 bytes into smaller packets, smaller IP datagrams and then after that in the router needs to send it over the link because the link can't support an IP datagram of size 1000 bytes. It can only support an IP datagram of size 100 bytes. So an IP datagram of size 100 bytes will be having an IP header of 20 bytes. That was given in the question. Assume the size of the IP header is 20 bytes. So if the header is 20 bytes, the data part will be 80 bytes. The data part is nothing but the TCP segment. So an IP datagram will have a header of 20 bytes and data of 80 bytes. Meaning in an IP packet, we can at most send a data of 80 bytes only. Now the initial packet had a size of 1000 bytes, which means a header of 20 bytes and a data of 980 bytes. So this data of 980 bytes, we need to divide into smaller packets of size 80 only. 80 because the data part can be 80 only. Each IP datagram will have its own header adding 20 bytes. So this 980 we need to divide into packets of size 80, which we can do as 980 by 80 is 12.25. That means 13 packets. So we can send, we need to divide this packet of size 1000 into 13 packets. The first 12 will have a data part of 80 plus a header of 20. The last one will have the remaining data part and a header of 20. So the answer is 13 packets.